We start with breaking news tonight of a Sour Lake police officer who has been shot. The shooting happened shortly after 8 tonight. We've learned the shooter then went on the run but has now been caught. The condition of the officer is not known at this time. The officer was transported by medical, medical helicopter to Christus Hospital St. Elizabeth. 12 News reporter Tyler Segeman joins us live from the scene of the shooting in Sour Lake tonight with what we know right now. Tyler. Yeah, a heartbreaking uh, scene here in Sour Lake. Uh, I'm in front of the JNR market where we see or we will believe uh, the altercation took place. Now, according to Chief Burleson, who is the chief for the Sour Lake Police Department, he tells us the officer and one person was involved in some type of altercation. Uh, that altercation led to some serious head trauma, uh, according to Sheriff Mark Davis, is what the officer received uh, during that altercation. After that, the suspect then it took his uh, Sour Lake Police Cruiser and headed north along Highway 326. Uh, where law enforcement eventually did catch him between Coons and Sour Lake uh, in a wooded area nearby the highway. Now, about half an hour ago, uh, an air medical helicopter dropped by just behind me uh, in front of the JNR market to transport the Sour Lake police officer to a hospital. Now, we're being told again that, uh, according to Sheriff Mark Davis, that he has some serious traumatic head injuries uh, is the injury that we're hearing of the police officer. Now, according to a city councilman uh, in Sour Lake, that officer has been shot. We can confirm that the officer was shot during this altercation. Again, this is on the corner or intersection of Highway 326 and Highway 105 here in Sour Lake. Now, I'm going to step aside and show you the scene right now. It was a lot busier uh, 30 minutes ago uh, with the helicopter on scene. All four roads coming into this intersection were blocked off for quite a bit of time. Uh, there's still some fire truck personnel here uh, in front of the gas station. If you look at the gas station, there's some crime scene tape that's still up. Uh, again, that's where we believe the altercation took place. We do not know if it was inside the gas station or if it was outside. You can see there's still some paramedics and police uh, talking with some witnesses, uh, we believe, there in front of the gas station. Again, we do not know what the altercation uh, it consisted of. We do not know uh, what led to the altercation, but we do know that the officer was shot, uh, and according to Sheriff Mark Davis of Hardin County, he has traumatic head injuries. Uh, he was airlifted uh, minutes ago, not minutes ago, but half an hour ago to a Beaumont hospital uh, where he is uh, being treated for his injuries. And, of course, we will provide you guys more information as we get uh, new information confirmed and updated for you guys. Uh, again, an officer was shot here uh, around 8 o'clock tonight in front of or nearby the JNR meat market here at the intersection of Highway 326 and Highway 105 in Sour Lake. Uh, he is be at the hospital. He was airlifted by medical helicopter with a serious head injury. Again, he was shot, and the suspect then took his police cruiser and headed north along Highway 326, where law enforcement was able to catch him. Again, we will provide more updates as we get more information. Live in Sour Lake, Tyler Segerman, 12 News. Thank you, Tyler. Stand by. We'll come back to you. Just to recap a little bit that Tyler told us there was confirmation that the officer was shot and that he suffered a traumatic head injury. We were on scene when the officer was actually airlifted by a medical helicopter taken to Christus Hospital St. Elizabeth. And that's where Kelsey Johnson joins us right now with the latest on what you know about the officer, Kelsey. Erica, we don't know a whole lot right now, but what we do know is that the officer was going to be airlifted here. Now, behind me is the emergency room entrance. When I first pulled up here, there were about three officers on scene. None of them actually are in their vehicle right now. They're all in the hospital. There are two EMS medical personnel vehicles here as well. Now, there's about four cop cars here, Beaumont police officer vehicles, and they're kind of, they're serving. They're not in their vehicles. They're in the hospital right now. We don't know if that bird has landed. We've kind of been keeping in I, we got here probably an hour ago and have yet to see it land, but and we don't have confirmation if that's the case. Again, as my colleague Tyler Segerman had just reported earlier that, that uh, the, man, the officer that was shot or the law enforcement officer that was shot, he did suffer traumatic head injury. That is confirmed by Hardin County Sheriff Mark Davis. Now, he didn't confirm that if if that officer was shot, but a city council member in Sour Lake did confirm that he was shot. Now, we don't have a whole lot of information on exactly how that officer is doing right now, but as soon as we figure that out, we'll let you know. I mean, we're going to be here as late as we need to be tonight, updating you as much as possible. Right now, Eric, I'm going to send it back to you and see if I can gather some more information as more officers come here to St. Elizabeth. Live at St. Elizabeth right here in Beaumont, Kelsey Johnson, 12 News. Thank you so much, Kelsey. And to recap a little bit, the 
drama started to unfold after 8 o'clock tonight when we actually started to hear some scanner traffic that there was an officer down. We sent a crew out to Sour Lake to confirm, in fact, that an officer had initially been injured. As we gathered more information, we learned that it was much more serious and that the officer, there's confirmation tonight, a Sour Lake police officer got into an altercation at a convenience store in Sour Lake. The suspect in this case... Um, fled in the officer's patrol car after the officer was injured. We've learned and confirmed the officer actually was shot and suffered traumatic head injury. Uh, we're going to go back to the scene right now with Tyler segment where there is still a police presence out there. Uh, Tyler, I'm assuming that they are still there gathering evidence, information on what happened tonight, probably questioning some witnesses who's at that convenience store, correct? Yeah, behind me, uh, if you guys can see behind me, the gas station, there is still some officers on scene talking uh, to witnesses or clerks at the store. Um, again, this is kind of a, an unfortunate and heart, uh, heartbreaking situation uh, here. Um, again, the intersection, Highway 326 and 105, uh, was shut down for almost an hour, more than an hour, really, and just a few minutes ago has reopened for traffic. Now, I did speak with a, a neighbor who lives across the street from the gas station. He came after all this took place, and he told me this is something that never happens. All the people that go to the gas station are typically friendly. Uh, they usually don't have any problems with people pumping gas or going into the store. Uh, so really this community is just um, at a loss for words right now uh, in terms of hearing the news that an officer was shot just across the street from where he lives. Uh, so it's just a heartbreaking uh, situation for the Sour Lake community to hear that an officer who was just, you know, serving there uh, to protect people uh, was shot during an altercation uh, with the suspect who then stole his cruiser uh, and was eventually caught down Highway 326. Uh, but the mood here is very, a lot of people are asking a lot of questions of what happened, um, and a lot of people are obviously, uh, you know, seeking answers and, and just in shock right now uh, that one of their own law enforcement officers are, uh, are, are hurt right now and fighting for his life. So it's just a, a traumatic uh, experience right now and a somber mood here in Sour Lake. Um, again, we'll continue uh, to provide updates for you guys. Stay with our 12 News app and our 12 News social media pages uh, for the latest updates on this situation. Live in Sour Lake, Tyler Segerman, 12 News. Okay, thank you so much, Tyler. And once again, we're waiting to find out more information about the officer that was injured. We've confirmed, we've learned that the officer was actually shot and suffered traumatic head injury and was transported by medical helicopter to Krista St. Elizabeth Hospital in Beaumont. Kelsey Johnson is there. She's waiting for an arrival or waiting for any new information on the condition of this officer tonight. Kelsey, have you learned anything new within the last few minutes? Yes, Erica. So according to Hardin County Sheriff Mark Davis, that suspect is still not in custody. That it just moments ago, colleague Kevin's still here with me tonight. He's trying to gather this information as quickly as possible. We're working team effort tonight to get as much information as possible. I've yet to see that bird land. I'm, we're still out here waiting tonight. Um, we don't we don't know straight up we, ju we just don't know but what we do know right now is that there are several officers here more have been coming in since i've been here and i've been here for about an hour now so as you can see i'm going to move out of the shot right now there are, oh actually one of the officers have just left so we still have four police officers and one ems unit waiting to kind of see the exact condition erica as erica just mentioned we do know that the officer suffered a traumatic head injury now according to sheriff Mark Davis. We can't confirm with him if it was shot, but according to a Sour Lake Council member, they say that he was shot. Again, suffered traumatic head injury. We don't know the exact condition of him, but we do know it is very serious. We are working right now to confirm more information. Again, that suspect is not in custody. I know we have 12 News reporter William Blanchett out in Sour Lake or in the Sour Lake area or the area where they're looking for the suspect. Right now, he's not. he has not confirmed anything. We're kind of keeping an eye, all talking together right now, trying to figure out what is going on. And as soon as we know from more information, we'll let you know. Live at St. Elizabeth, Kelsey Johnson, 12 News. For those of you just joining us tonight, we have confirmed that a Sour Lake police officer has been injured, has been shot, and has suffered a traumatic head injury. Initially, we had reports that the suspect was in custody. Of course, with this being a fluid situation, we learned that not to be the case, that the suspect 
suspect that they're looking for is still at large tonight. Take a look at this picture. We hear that uh, officers, law enforcement agencies from uh, all over right now are assisting with this effort and that the suspect they're searching in the area between Sour Lake and Kuntz. Uh, once again, a suspect is not in custody at this hour. This all unfolded around 8.15 to 8.30 this evening when there were reports of an officer down at a convenience store in Sour Lake. There was some altercation that had happened between the officer and the suspect at that location that we have been confirmed with the sheriff's office there. And then we learned that the officer did suffer a traumatic head injury that he had been shot and airlifted to Christus Hospital St. Elizabeth. We do not know the officer's current condition. We're going to go back to the scene in Sour Lake with Tyler Segeman for an update on what he's found out right now on this situation. Tyler, are you there? Yeah, right now the scene is quiet uh, as opposed to what it was earlier today. Now I'm going to step out to give you guys a better look of what's taking place. Um, there's some uh, paramedics and fire trucks still here on scene. As uh, If you look in the gas station there, there are still police here on scene at the JNR market here in Sour Lake near the court intersection of Highway 326 and Highway 105, gathering details uh, of what took place, talking to witnesses. Um, again, uh, if you guys are just joining us, an officer uh, was involved in an altercation with a person. Uh, that person then shot the officer and stole his police cruiser and headed down Highway 326. Now, earlier I reported that the suspect was in custody, but he is not. They have not found the suspect. Um, so the suspect is still at large after stealing the police cruiser and shooting um, the Sour Lake police officer. Um, we were here on scene uh, earlier, about 30 minutes ago, when the helicopter picked up. Um, the fallen officer or the officer who was shot and uh, airlifted him to the hospital where he is being uh, treated for his injuries. Um, according to Sheriff Mark Davis, those injuries are considered, quote, head, uh, severe head trauma uh, injuries is what we're hearing uh, from Sheriff Mark Davis. But here on scene, uh, there's still a couple fire trucks here. The roads have reopened uh, here along Highway 326 and Highway 105 in Sour Lake. Um, I'm sure these uh, officers will continue to be on scene as long as they need to be uh, to gather as much detail and information as they can. Obviously, uh, with one of their own being involved and being hurt, um, they're going to take their time with this investigation and gathering all the information they can. Uh, so I'm going to send it back to you guys, Kevin and Erica, uh, with, uh, with all the information that I have here so far. Uh, if I hear anything else, I'll keep you guys updated. Stay with 12 News uh, for the latest updates uh, here in this situation on this case. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you, Tyler. Once again, an officer has been shot, a Sour Lake police officer shot tonight. We've confirmed that he has suffered traumatic head injuries. The suspect is still at large. The condition of the officer is not known at this time, but the situation unfolded shortly after 8 o'clock tonight. Calls to a convenience store there in Sour Lake um, that there was an officer downed. Confirmation has come in that that officer has been shot and was airlifted to Christus Hospital St. Elizabeth. Um, definitely a very, very troubling situation on this Memorial Day when we look back and reflect on those who've served our country and pay the ultimate sacrifice. We have our law enforcement officers and first responders who are out there every day protecting the community. Tonight, our thoughts and prayers are with the Sour Lake officer and his family. This is a developing story, so make sure to download our 12 News Now app for updates and push alerts. We will alert you when new details are released. We'll be right back.